Growing up, your dislike of certain greens and vegetables such as broccoli were looked at as you being a picky eater. However, what if I told you it may not be your fault, but that is in your genes? As crazy as that may sound, evolution could have played a large role in shaping why humans developed an aversion for bitter tastes such as those found in broccoli. So why was bitter taste reception in humans selected for? What could have been useful from having this gene? Well, studies have shown that the development and selection for bitter taste reception predates modern man. It is suspected that this gene actually originated in an ancestor to Homo sapien. Scientists have stated that this may have occurred due to an inversion for an antithyroid compound called PTC. PTC has a bitter taste and decreases the amount of thyroid hormone T3 and T4 produced by the thyroid gland. These important hormones regulate metabolic function and PTC also damages the liver among a host of other medical conditions. Basically, avoiding PTC was beneficial for human health and man's ancestors. Thus, the pressure to avoid PTC was selected for in a way to identify and avoid bitter taste, and the gene responsible for this is called the TAS2R38 gene. Genes are found in cells, specifically on the DNA found inside the nucleus. The TAS2R38 gene found on chromosome 7 and codes for a protein that interacts with the G protein. How it works is if a molecule is associated with bitter taste is present, then the protein coded for by the TAS2R38 will bind to it, which will then bind to a G protein, which will then activate a cascade of chemical reactions that eventually tell the brain, hey, this is bitter and I don't like it. There is some variation with this gene. The main one is that there are homozygotes with bitter reception, heterozygotes, and homozygotes that lack the bitter reception. The results of these different genotypes are that there is a homozygote that rate bitter products 60% more bitter than homozygotes without the gene. This can lead to a phenomenon known as super tasters. Another interesting link from the TAS2R38 gene is a halotype linked with overeating and obesity. This implies that this gene has an important implications for food acceptance and intake as well as long term health. Thus, although this gene originally may have protected the health of an organism, it is now leading to different health outcomes.